Okay, guys, so I'm going to look through these um, slime without no glue hacks to see if they actually work. So I'm going to start scrolling right now. Okay. Let's close on this one. And yes, I am recording it from my phone right here because I recorded it before the process. So we'll just start. Blue viral slimes like those of JSH DIY and some others. Be sure to stick around to the end because you don't want to miss these. Okay. The first recipe we're going to be trying out is with this toothpaste. It's very liquidy. Okay. To that, we are going to add in some baking soda. Okay. Now, remember, I'm doing these recipes just as I saw them, and we're going to see, are they real or are they fake? Do they really work? So, I'm going to go in and get a teaspoon of this baking soda, uh, once I get part of the box out of my teaspoon, and I'm just going to add that into my toothpaste. While I'm doing this, guys, go hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. So mix it up really well, and then we're going to set it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. This next one okay, got all the ingredients I needed. So, I have this toothpaste. Um baking soda and a spoon. I am going to just do a quick small transition to put this in. Okay. Okay, I got it in. Now we have to add in the baking soda. I'm just going to do another transition. Let's go. Okay, now that we have that in there, now all we need to do is stir it up. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, is what she said, for 15 minutes. Okay, let's go. Okay, time for the next thing. Let's play the video. All right guys, don't miss a beat in this one because this is the most amazing slime recipe I have ever tried. To start out, we are gonna use some salt. And of course, get your cute little container. Maybe not with cracks. Mine has some cracks going down his back, but that's okay. So salt and I'm gonna add some soda. baking soda into that salt. Okay. This is gonna be like a one to two ratio salt to baking soda. You just wanna mix those two ingredients up to make one ingredient. So I mean, I guess you can't really mix it up, but you can bind them pretty well. I thought I'd try my hand at flipping this, but uh, I failed miserably. You don't do that. The next ingredient that this recipe calls for is an empty water bottle. Oh, okay. I have and one. And to that water bottle, we are going totally. to add in some <laughs> canteen clear shampoo because we're going to attempt to make a clear slime, so you need clear shampoo as your base. Okay. I'm not going to add clear. I'm just going to add normal something. Normal shampoo. If I You're going to put only clear like ones, one yeah. part of shampoo in this container, so a fourth fourth and to that you're okay. going to also add in water so it's going to be a one to four ratio four parts water one part shampoo okay this looks pretty good so far um don't want a lot of water though or you could just say have a little bit of water left in there if you have to run the bathroom during this part i get it don't worry about it that's a Once lot of water. you've got all your water in, it all. is time to stir it up. So stir it up good, guys. Stir it up. Stir it up. Okay. For this next part, if you have a funnel, uh, I suggest getting it out. I didn't have one on hand. I didn't know where it was. So I went in with my finger, and I, just, I politely guided all of this baking soda and salt mixture into my water bottle. I'll make one. Um, not all of it made it, but the majority did. So we're good to go. Okay, now you just shake Here it up. Here comes the fun part, guys. Not only do we stir it up, we are going to shake the mess out of it. Wow, that's it aggressive. Must be a Bob Ross where he beats the devil out of it. He beats the devil out of his, his brush. I'm on a Bob Ross. Are any Bob Ross fans out there? Yeah. You really do want to shake it up really well because you're trying to incorporate all of those ingredients. you got soap, well, shampoo, water, baking soda, salt. And it's going to activate this into what we hope will be slime. So excited. So the next thing we're supposed to do is take it outside. So that's what I'm doing right here. And put it in a sunny area. Because that will help with the activation process. And just leave it for half a day. Oh my gosh. Now it's getting a suntan. I'm going to make another okay. slime. Or I'm going to attempt to make another slime using another viral no glue slime okay. recipe from another channel. So start in with some shampoo. A whole and lot of shampoo. A whole lot of shampoo, okay. More shampoo. The next ingredient we are supposed to add is baking soda. Baking soda, okay. 
this recipe didn't have a specified amount, but I put the amount of baking soda I thought would be needed for this amount of shampoo, and that was quite a bit. And then I'm just gonna stir this up. And guys, you already see it's kind of jelly-like, which is so exciting to me. And I'm loving that baby blue color as well. So I'm just gonna mix this up really, really well. And a slime should form according to the recipe. So I'm excited to see that happen. Oh my gosh, guys, it is. Look at this. This is turning into a Oh my gosh, and that, are you serious? I already have this up. Put slime ball. It's like a cloud. Hmm. It smells so amazing and fresh. I'm gonna try that and one first. Let's get into that one first. Okay guys, so sadly the one that has toothpaste and baking soda does not work. And yes, I didn't get my nails done, if you noticed. Um, this does not work at all. It may look like it's good, but it's I already tried it. It's really gooey, I don't wanna touch it. But like really bad it smells really good but it does not feel the greatest i'm going to go into the other one anyway guys i'm in my bathroom about to do that other one that we just saw before and hopefully it turns out good because it is really late at night right now because i was trying to find a, an ingredient around the house and i finally found one so let's get started okay got everything i'm just going to do the shampoo first and yes this is not old shampoo, but, but, ew. ew. But shampoo I don't use anymore. So let's just pour a lot of that in, because she, uh, she poured a lot of them in it. Everything, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna add that much. And that should be good. And then I'm going to add the baking soda. She added a lot, she said, so I'm gonna add a lot. I'm going to do this off camera because it's kind of hard to do while I'm holding the camera. Now all I need to do is stir it up for a long time it seemed. So I'm going to like keep stirring and stirring. And this is going to take quite a while. So I'm going to just do this off camera. Okay. Okay, so I was actually really surprised with the results. Okay, so look. It's pretty good, but it's also pretty not good at the same time. It's like kind of oily-ish. Um, but yeah, it works. It's kind of sticky. Well, really sticky. But besides that, it would be really fun to make and to feel accomplished of doing something. So yeah, this one works pretty good, actually. Let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, so remember that bottle thing I did? Yeah, that didn't work. I did the thingies, all the ingredients. I poured it out because I actually thought I recorded it, but it wasn't recording. But what I said was, this does not work. It's all liquidy. I left it out for a day, another day, still liquidy. I left it out for one more day, still liquidy, and one more day, still liquidy. So I hope that if you wanna try this, Fill it up to about here because it may come out of fail. If it's not a fluke like that, you can just comment down below if it worked. It's, uh, right now it's a little bit airy, but I am going to stop the video here and do a part two soon.